Hey everyone, okay so today we're going to get flawless, flawless skin. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply moisturiser to my skin. Now my skin's quite dry at the moment, so I will be applying, although this might not actually seem like a lot to some of you, but I will be applying more than I normally would. Because my skin is normally quite oily, but it is not at the moment. And we treat the skin that we've got, not the skin that we hope for. So I'm applying moisturiser to the skin and I'm just gauging how much I need by how much slip I can feel on the skin and how much roughness I can feel after I've put it on. Now I'm going to skip primer. Normally I would apply a bit of primer but because I've used a decent amount of moisturiser it's another layer of product that I'm just not interested in using. So next, we're going to apply a little bit of eye cream underneath the eye, just a wee bit, and just getting it right up into the lash line or near the lash line, and on that outside corner, and just smoothing it in until it's fabulous. So next is foundation. Now I'm gonna use my foundation. Now I know that a lot of the shades are out of stock. Do not worry, I have an announcement coming. Do not worry, it will be back. But use whatever foundation you want. Now I'm gonna use a beauty blender. And what I'm gonna do is press it in three dots like I just did. And then I'm just gonna to start to move the product around the face. And what I want to achieve for this look is skin. I want there to be coverage, but at the same time, not to the point where it is ridiculous. And I'm not against full coverage foundations. I mean, mine is a full coverage foundation, but I want to use it with enough grace that it's not, it doesn't look like a mask. I want this to look like skin. So I've worked the forehead first. So I've done the forehead and now I'm just going to work from the center out and I can adjust the foundation as and when I go. So I'm definitely going to need a touch more, but that's okay. I much prefer to add it than have to worry about kind of taking it away. It doesn't really matter, you know, where you start your foundation. It's whatever works best for you. I like to go underneath the eyes because anything I can cover with foundation is great. Therefore, I don't have to use um, as much concealer. So I'm gonna add a touch more foundation along this plane, which is ironic because I'm now gonna add a bit of blusher to it, but we take away the red just to add it back, but we add back the color we want. Now I'm using a relatively firm pressure here. I'm not beating the face by any stretch of the imagination, but I am making sure that there is firm enough pressure that it's being blended into the skin. Now I'm perfectly happy with that coverage. So what I'm gonna do is take a lighter shade of my foundation and I'm just gonna use this as a concealer and I'm gonna put it into the inner corners of the eye. I'm gonna add a touch to the bridge of the nose, not particularly careful, and a little touch of it, and it's only a shade lighter, but it's enough. And I'm just going to add a touch to the outside corners. It's enough to add a little bit of extra light to the face. And I don't want to overwhelm my face. I'm 44 years old and I don't want there to be too much product on the skin. Now that's done. Before we actually move on to powder, what I want to do is actually apply some cream blusher. Now I'm gonna use a lipstick and I'm actually gonna use Zinnia, which is from my line, 
and I'm going to just put it onto the cheek area, touch on the nose and a touch on the back of, uh, above the eyebrow. And I'm going to do this prior to powdering because it just adds a little bit of colour to the skin and creams love each other. They get on very well and it just gives a lovely flush to the skin even though Zinio is such a bright colour. I highly recommend it as a blusher because it just looks wonderful on the skin. Particularly deep skin tones as well. It's, it's really beautiful there. So next, I'm actually gonna powder. Now I'm gonna use my powder. Now, of all the products I've created, the powder is the most epic because the honestly, the reviews of this, it doesn't, it's not heavy, there's no talc in it. It makes the skin look absolutely flawless. And there's just no weight to it, which is why it's called the weightless powder. And all it does is mattify the skin. Now you can use a brush if you want, but we're not gonna. We're gonna push this into the skin. And my motto is, I would rather use more powder and less foundation. I would much prefer the longevity of powder. And you can touch up with this product all day long. It does not get heavy. It's such an amazing product. I think there is a restock of this, so you can check it out but everything gets matted down, which is beautiful because I can add back shine if and where I want it. Lovely. So what I'm gonna do is add back some color into the face. So I'm gonna take a blusher and I'm now going to just gently re-add back some color. So I'm going over the areas where the cream blusher was or technically the lipstick was but it then looks like it's coming from the skin. And I'm just gonna dust above the eyebrows as well. Now with nothing else on my sponge, nothing at all, uh, my powder puff, I'm just gonna go over those areas because the powder puff just helps to smooth things out. I love a bit of color in the face. I'm obsessed with blushes. I just think that they're the most incredible thing for the face. So now I'm going to get a setting spray and I'm going to spritz this onto the face. Just let things sort of settle down and sort of set before I do anything else. Okay, so now because this is about flawless skin, I'm going back in with a powder puff onto the T-zone area only. And I'm making sure that my T-zone area is here, but I go under this area as well. So I'm making sure that this area is completely matte. Now what I'm gonna do is just hold the kind of powder puff here, and I'm gonna give the setting spray a good three squirts just down this side of the face. So you can already see the shine that's happening. And I'm holding this here to protect this T-zone area because I do not want there to be shine in this area. It's not flattering on me. And three spritz again. And just allow it to absorb into the skin. And this is gonna give, well, it's gonna give longevity to the skin, but it's gonna give a more glass-like appearance to that outside portion of the face. Now this is still wet, this will dissipate. So I'm going to just, honest to God, I might as well just paint my whole face pink. I'm obsessed with it, I really am. So now I'm going to go back in with my weightless powder again. And this time I'm just smoothing the edges. This isn't going to go anywhere. And this doesn't look really heavy. This powder is incredible for that. It just doesn't look heavy on the skin, which is why I love it. That is flawless. Thank you very much. Now, if you want to do any kind of excess cutting, 
now will be the time. So I'll do this for shits and giggles, nothing else. And just around, I know, most fun you can have with this powder. It's perfectly legal. Do not inhale it. So we're going to let that set for six or seven hours and it'll look fabulous. Now all I'm going to do is take that same brush. I'm just going to knock it off. Just knock it off. Now to finish off, I'm going to take my setting spray on my powder puff. I'm going to spritz it twice. That's it. Make sure it's not too wet. And I'm just going to go over the outside perimeter again. And then I'm going to finish off with three spritz. Then I'm going to take my powder puff and push it into the center only. And that's it. That's it. Now, this isn't going to go anywhere. This is here all day long. You're going to look incredible. Your skin will look amazing. There is, I haven't used any highlighters whatsoever. I've used no shine on my face other than using a setting spray. That's all I did. And if I wanted there to be a bit more kind of shine, I can just add a bit around those outside areas. Just let them settle and not push it in with the sponge. And this will create a bit more shine during that outside area. I, I'm a big fan of matte skin. I, I really am. It photographs very, very beautifully um, and just looks generally very pretty. Glass skin looks amazing in editorials, but when you're walking around with an incredibly shiny face, the whole face, it's quite distracting. Um, but that's it. This will not go anywhere. This is flawless skin all day long. And what I like to do with my powder is I will take some on the sponge and you see me do it, roll it up like a taco, kind of get it all in there and put the sponge in like a, a lock bag, like a plastic lock bag. And then you can just take it out and you can powder and be perfect all day long. Thanks for watching. This is The Flawless Face. Mm. Appreciate your time. Really do. See you soon. Bye bye.